Hi everyone, this is Total War Therapy and today my little little dog pee on my yoga mat. So basically I spent all the morning morning just try to to clean it in uh, with a lot of washes in the bathroom, but this is another story. And uh, I want to thank you because we are close or maybe we reach them. I don't know because sometimes the subscribers go on, go up, sometimes they go down, but we almost reached the 200 and uh, I know that maybe it's not a big, big deal for you, but for me it is, because Total War is one of my addiction, I mean, at this point, but uh, uh, it still makes me very, very happy having someone to share this passion and addiction with. So thank you for being here. And uh, before going to talk again what we can expect and when we can expect the next DLC, I would like to take uh, this break to talk to you because at that time I didn't have a channel yet so all my anger, all my pain I could not uh, share with someone. Now there is someone that maybe it's open to listen to all my anger in, and pain and I want to talk with you about the release of Champions of Chaos. For me probably the worst DLC ever released. Probably the only the the only DLC worse is the Queen and the Crow. I mean, you know, Alariel against Elbrun, but I mean this is not even a DLC probably. Champions of Chaos. First I would like to say that I loved the rework of uh, of Chaos uh, uh, Chaos Warriors. Warriors of Chaos, sorry. I, I love it. It's seriously probably one of the best mechanics in the game and, uh, you know, over time there are a lot of very, very cool mechanics, but the Warrior of Chaos, uh, full raised faction mechanics, is one of the best. It's one of the best, if not the best. At the same time, when they announced that uh, this very, very wanted and welcomed uh, Monogod Lords uh, would have been added to the to the you know to the warriors of chaos faction i was oh my god no please it's terrible i was so looking forward to play new lords of zinch corn nargol and slanesh and i was so disappointed that instead i got even chew on my favorite character of all the lore village the carceling and valkyrie the bloody and getting them as uh, Warriors of Chaos factions and not Monogod faction for me was such a big disappointment. So a big disappointment. He was the only DLC since I played Total War Warhammer that I got no hype. I was no I was not like happy, excited to to get it. I was just so disappointed and, and sad because I really thought that that was the level we could uh, expect uh, for Total War, uh, Warhammer, and uh, luckily then with the Chaos, uh, Chaos Dwarves, I was, okay, we still have hope. Chaos Dwarf were, was an amazing DLC, perfect, almost. But yeah, Champions of Chaos, no. The cool thing are the Lords, because the four Lords introduced are very very cool and that they have so great they have so great personalities and I love them but I still wanted to play them as a monogods I mean I like all these uh, uh, warriors of chaos things but I really wanted them to choose different lords maybe more close to Norska to to the generic chaos but I mean Character like Valkyrie and Village that they were so corn uh, and Zinch. I mean, they really needed to to be in a completely corn and Zinch uh, faction, not just half of that. It's still good because I mean the mechanics, for example, of corn uh, they are a little tricky. So with Valkyrie you can play an actually corn experience, but more calm. You know, you can just take your settlement. Uh, vassalize uh, the Norska tribes and I mean you don't need just to run around and destroy everything so they actually give you some kind of different level but at the same time no I wanted Valkyrie as a full corn legendary lord 
the Elite as like a full Lynch Legend, Legendary Lords, and I was so disappointed. And it was not the most disappointed thing of this DLC. The second one, and probably it's a, it's a thing that not only I was not happy about it, but I'm, I still think that a little, not that much, but a little, it ruined the game forever. And this thing is the units. Adding all these marked units, I hate it. I will give you an example for that. The Pesticor. Okay, the Pesticor. They are great attacks, uh, armor piercing infantry. They are cool, I, I love them. But think about their addition in the game without already three different versions of great axe uh, armor, piece, armor piercing units. That would be great. They would have got a big role in the Nargo uh, roster. Instead, they are just something between a marauder of uh, a marauder and uh, a worse of, of chaos of Nargo with the uh, yeah, I mean a little different stats, less armor, they are more fast, they are more uh, they have a wider formation that is good for magic and artillery. Okay, but they would have got a unique role in the roster of Nargo. But with the addition of three different kinds of uh, units with retags, they're just kind of useless. Okay, I mean, you don't use them in the same way. Second example, I love to play against Zinch and, uh, or, I mean, with Zinch with a lot of horrors. I mean, you were taking a lot of horrors. Nargol, you were using a lot of Narglings. You had Narglings everywhere, and the, it was so thematic. But now, with the Warriors with Champion, the Champions of Chaos edition, it's everything different. Okay, with Zinch, uh, you need, I mean, you started to completely neglect the Blue Horrors to get some uh, Spearmen of, uh, of Zinch, you know, to protect your flank, when before you were desperate and you needed all the blue augers to use uh, as a wall in your army. And it was such a thematically and uh, cool idea. But now, no. The Narglings the same. Narglings are so useless now because with the uh, Marauders of Nargol that, I mean, are far better in any stats and actually more, I would like to say, consistent as a unit, you prefer them. So I don't use Nargling anymore and I hate this thing because I love to use Narglings. And I can make you example that maybe just Laneige because uh, I'm, I mean actually the the, the Demonet they are they are far different from the Warriors of, Warriors of Chaos. But still with Laneige, it was necessary to add the cavalry or the chariots. With Laneige that already got like a, four kind of uh, cavalry and uh, three kinds of chariot and you add another chariot and uh, two uh, more cavalry i mean it doesn't make sense and many things like that the no maybe the, yeah cold spawn forsaken everything it was everything so disappointed and the only we can say you new units that they introduced was the war shrine of chaos that it's I mean, honestly talking, the most boring and uh, useless and, uh, I don't know, units of all the game. And we have five of them. Five of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm sad and disappointed because they, they really got the chance to, to... I mean, they could even just add less, but more probably. I like that uh, we got some uh, Warriors of Chaos of Zinch. But I didn't like them. I didn't like the, to get the Marauders, for example. But the Warriors of Chaos, yes. And uh, what else? No, nothing else. I, mean, I hate uh, most of the things that they added with that DLC. And uh, I'm sorry. I mean, at the end in the game, I kind of use some of them. Chariots, the ch market chariots, no. Market uh, uh, cavalry, almost no. Cow spawn, I hate all of them and uh, yes so I don't know I they give me a very bad bad feeling and I'm very happy that they changed the path 
they didn't choose the number anymore because with Warriors of the Champions of Chaos they introduced a lot of new units. But they prefer more the quality. So what we are actually putting in um, in this game and uh, yeah, I, I prefer quality over quantity. And I can tell you for sure after Champions of Chaos. Thank you for following me. I wish to you a new amazing week. And uh, uh, an amazing choose the news day that we can cross our finger that maybe and maybe this time will be the time we will get the trailer let's hope and uh, nothing thank you for being here don't forget to subscribe to put like and comment with your opinion and bye bye